So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new and cool 3D text effect with using Element 3D plugin. So firstly guys click on here create new composition guys duration 15 second is good for me 15 and presets guys I use full HD frame that's it so press ok so now guys I apply color 3d texture see guys that's my color texture guys you can download this texture from my website it's free so drag and drop on here and play see guys that's my simple color texture right and now hide and next one guys I create new solid layer and solid layer name E3D so press ok yes and next one guys I use text tool this one and guys type your any letter like type M that's my name so guys you can change also font guys I use some stylish and curve font like this yeah I like this one so now guys I increase the size size increase and alignment alignment like this right okay so guys stretch 100 yes and one more time guys increase size so size 500 is good for me okay so next one guys select this E3D go to on top and hide this layer that's my M letter so select this E3D layer and guys this time i use element 3d plugin yeah right okay so next one guys go to on custom layer and that's for my text guys apply text that's my m letter and next one guys custom texture that's my texture texture color that's it guys right okay so guys click on setup that's my setup so guys click on extrude See guys that's my 3d text okay so guys now i increase segments so select this text and see guys that's my path resolution i use extreme for more smoothness yes and next one guys i change bevel presets so go to on here that's my presets and bevel see guys that's my different different style of bevel effect okay so guys click on here Guys, you can choose any bevel effect but I like this one that's my bevel step yes right okay so guys now I change this time material and texture so firstly guys presets material and physical and guys now I change this material on front one so select this one that's my gold so guys select this gold texture apply on front one like this yeah and second one guys that's my like this one mid one light yeah okay so next one guys go to on screen material and right click remove unused material yes and now guys I apply some texture on this one that's my front so guys select this gold texture guys I apply normal map texture see guys that's my normal map texture this one yeah and so guys go to on here select this gold material and texture see guys that's my different different worms okay so now guys select this texture select drag and drop on here and apply on normal bump like this yeah see guys that's my texture and second one one more time guys use glossiness yes much better right okay so now guys I change this time UV 
so guys select your model text and see guys that's my uv mapping and uv repeat i like four and four yes that's it right okay so now guys i change also this time that's my bright material and guys intensity i change that's my intensity i like only 100 is good yes that's it guys okay so guys next one i create material for this one this one so guys i create new material so select and let's go to on here so guys this time i apply color texture so go to on here that's my diffuse and see guys that's my color texture i see that's my guys if you're not visible this diffuse so guys you can update your element 3d version i have element 2.2.2 yeah and use color guys brightness increase like 120 percent yes press ok and emission 120 percent and press ok yes so guys apply on bevel this one yeah see guys that's really cool right it's really good guys okay so next one guys i increase this brightness this one texture brightness so guys go to on emission and density like 100 is good for me yeah guys you can increase more like 150 is also good yeah good okay so see guys that's my final texture and now guys i create so guys next one i create one more time text that's for my outline yes and guys go to on up path resolution use extreme but guys this time that's my bevel so guys bevel outline enable check yes and guys i increase this time x2 decrease like 0 0.5 enter yes guys more like 0 0.2 is good yes good okay see guys that's my 3d text and now guys i apply same gold material i like gold material like this yeah much better it's really good okay so next one guys this time select this one model front one and duplicate so control d go to on here like this yeah and and guys select this one that's my front one mid one yeah guys select this one and press control d and guys go to on here like this yes see guys that's my 3d text final text okay so guys my text is finished and next one guys i apply this time background so use plane and plane guys rotation change and two planes i check like 270 yes and now guys i increase the size size scale size this one scale size increase like this like 1000 percent is good yeah good guys more like one 500 yes okay see guys that's my 3d text and final background so guys attach on here this one and go to on here yes really good okay so guys select this one and guys yeah apply on here guys i increase this bevel size bevel size increase here guys more increase yes really good okay see guys that's my text and now next one guys I apply this time select this one yes select and press ctrl d yes okay see guys that's my final 3d text and now guys this time background so guys go to on material select this black outline apply on background that's for my background and next one guys I apply texture 
सो गाइज सेलेक्ट यूर दिस वन दैट्स माई मेटीरियल गो टू ऑन अप गाइज अप्लाई दिस टाइम बैकग्राउंड टेक्सचर दैट्स माई बैकग्राउंड टेक्सचर गाइज यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस टेक्सचर फ्रॉम माई वेबसाइट इज फ्री टेक्सचर सो दिस टाइम बैकग्राउंड एंड क्लॉस इन एस चेक एंड गाइज आई चेंज दिस टाइम यू वी सो गाइज सेलेक्ट दिस प्लेन एंड गो टू ऑन यू वी या एंड यू वी रिपीट आई लाइक गाइज ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी यस वेरी गुड राइट ओके सो गाइज नाउ सेलेक्ट योर प्लेन एंड रिफ्लेक्शन मोड टू यूज मिरर सरफेस यस ठीक है दैट्स माई मिरर सरफेस लाइटिंग यस ओके I change HDR image. So go to on presets. This one and environment texture. See guys, that's my different different style of presets, right? Guys, you can choose any one. It's depending on your work. That's my for backlight plugin. That's my more. Okay. So next one, guys. Go to on basics and guys select this one. Up. Guys, you can change this brightness like fifty and saturation like minus hundred. Enter and press OK. Yeah, it's good, right? See, so guys, that's my beautiful three D effect and background. And now, guys, you can change also this light. That's my different different style of light like this. That's light three sixty and cinematic. Guys, you can take anyone, but red is good for me. Okay, so guys, my 3D text effect is finished. So press OK, and now, guys, I apply this time camera. So camera check, guys, take 50 mm is good. So press C letter and closer like this, and guys, rotate your 3D text. Yes, and closer. Like this, more. Yeah, see guys, that's really cool. Okay, so guys, now I take some color correction. So use adjustment layer. Yeah, and guys, go to on effect and presets and type your curve. Select your curve and apply on adjustment layer. Guys, I increase the brightness like this, and go to on here. See guys, that's very really sharp material. Okay, so guys, next one I apply this time glow effect. So guys, select your glow, apply, and guys, radius glow increase like three hundred. Yes, see guys, that's really good. And guys, threshold increase. Guys, more. I take like five hundred is good. Guys, my HDR lighting is not correct. So I change HDR texture. So again, go to on Element 3D and setup check. Guys, I change HDR environment texture. So go to on again presets and guys go to environment. See guys, that's my different different style of texture. So click on here. I also like this one. Yeah, it's much better. Yeah, I like this one and environment. Guys, brightness fifty and saturation. Guys, minus hundred is good. So press OK. So click on here. Press OK. Yeah, much better. See, guys, that's my really cool texture. Okay, so now, guys, adjustment layer and guys, this time go to on here. Like threshold, like fifty. Yes, really good. Fifty is good. Okay, so now, guys, this time I apply glow effect on this one. Texture. So guys, select this E3D layer and go to on render. Guys, physical environment. Guys, increase this exposure like 1.3 is good. Yeah, that's really good lighting. And guys, gamma little bit change like 0.9 is good. Press OK. Yes. See guys, that's my really cool shiny texture. Okay, so now next one, go to on lighting. And see, guys, add light. You can take anyone. So same. I take red is good. Yeah. And guys, go to shadow, shadow check. And guys, ambient occlusion, most important part. Ambient occlusion check. Intensity five. 
and quality i use high is good and radius guys use two yeah much better okay so guys that's it my text lighting is finished next one guys select this e3d so guys this time i create duplicate so press ctrl d yeah and rename guys e3d like glow yeah so guys select your e3d glow and output guys show i use emulation this one yeah see guys that's my only lighting and guys to change guys mode screen and now guys i apply this time glow effect glow and apply on e3d layer that's my e3d2 only for glow see guys that's for glow yeah and guys i change this time glow setting 100 and 100 yes and guys i like three is good yeah and guys this time duplicate press ctrl d guys copy this glow and guys go to on here radius i like 200 and guys i change intensity like one is good yes right it's good okay so next one guys i apply this time exposure exposure select and apply and guys exposure amount i like one yes much better right and lastly guys i apply this time curve select your curve apply drag and drop and increase this lighting yes okay see guys that's my final 3d text effect right that's my final one and next one guys i take camera animation and use depth of field guys so set your camera so guys press c so set your camera and guys press c letter and guys i change this resolution use low guys that's only for animation and guys set your camera angle like this it's really good so closer see guys that's some beautiful lighting right okay so guys go to on zero frame and guys select this camera and press p position check and now guys go to on lastly like 15 second and guys camera movement animation change like this yeah and guys go to on here so go to back so guys yeah okay see guys that's my simple camera movement animation it's really good okay so next one guys i use this time cool depth of field effect so stop and guys use full yes really good so go to on zero frame and guys camera and guys go to camera option guys depth of field on yes and guys aperture i like 50 is good yes and see guys that's my focus distance focus distance check so guys select your camera and press u see guys that's my focus distance guys manually change focus like 500 guys that's my focus right and guys now go to on like four second four second yes guys focus change on here like 400 enter yes cool and now guys go to on like eight second and focus change like 350 yes okay so guys change like four 20 yeah and now guys you can change also position so press c letter little bit back yeah and again one more time focus distance like 550 yeah and now guys go to on like 12 second and focus guys change like 500 enter and lastly guys 
go to on lastly frame and focus change on here yes okay so guys see that's my final animation right okay so guys that's it my final and cool lighting text effect is finished and now guys you can download this material and project file from my website it's free so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel so guys thank you